Okay, so welcome to eventful week 10. So week 10, um, I think, I'm not sure if I did a 9 video. I think I did, but I don't remember. Anyway, so week 10 has been pretty eventful. Um, it has had lots of firsts. Um, so let's start off by first, um, well, okay, first I'm on a trip with my husband. He is interviewing for residency programs. He's a um, fourth year medical student, so he needs to interview for programs so that we will have a job in July. So anyway, we're doing that. Right now I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia. We've been to Vermont, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, this trip so far. So we are really busy. So um, we left last Wednesday evening. Um, by Thursday, AM, I already had a new first pregnancy symptom. I got heartburn. <clears throat> so the heartburn was like bad for like a day. I was like working out on the treadmill and like I just felt like it was like acid just burning in my chest. It was gross. So that was fine. That was the first new pregnancy symptom. And then on Friday we had made it. Sorry if the camera is like shaky. Um, I have it propped. Friday we made it to Maryland. And I told my parents, and they were super excited. My mom was really happy. I didn't think she would be as happy as she was, but that was really awesome that they were so receptive. And we told my grandparents, and that was fun. And we went to dinner. And for dinner, we had, I really wanted seafood because, um, and I, well, we can't really get good seafood, so we went out for that. Saturday morning, I woke up. I felt disgusting. I threw up. So that was like a new first because I've never thrown up. I threw up again. And then I threw up again. So I threw up three times on Saturday. It was pretty awful. Um, I'm not sure if it was food poisoning or a combination of just being queasy in pregnancy. I'm not really sure. My dad got the same thing I got and he didn't get sick. So I, I'm thinking I'm just like super sensitive. So um, that was terrible, but that's gone away. My appetite like totally went downhill after that. Uh, I'm usually eating every two-ish hours. I'm like starving. And I hardly ate anything on Saturday. Um, we had to go to a holiday party and that was like really hard for me to get ready because I was so feeling so sick. And I had like a piece of toast and one saltine and those both came up. So um, finally after the third time I threw up I felt much better and I got some ginger ale in me and that was good. So um, that was another new thing that happened. Then Sunday we drove to... Pennsylvania to Pittsburgh so then um, that was fine so Monday morning I woke up I went to the restroom about 5 30 a.m. and I wiped and there was brownish discharge and I was a little concerned so like I just was like okay well I'll just wait a little bit and I'll wake up later and see what happens so I woke up later it was still there and it was like just brown nothing pink nothing red and there was a little stringy dark brown bit. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just relax. Like, I won't exercise today or anything. And because maybe I'd just been going too hard the last couple days, whatever. So I did that. And, uh, and like throughout the day, I was kind of having discomfort. Not really pain. I'd get little twinges every now and then. But I'd get, like, discomfort on my left side. So I was pretty concerned. Um... I knew that there was probably nothing wrong, but it was just like the discharge was a little bit disconcerting and um, I just want to make sure. So I called my midwife while I was in Pennsylvania and she told me, well, since I have B negative blood, I might need my shot of Rogam early. So, and I should be checked out anyway. So we ended up going to the emergency room on Monday evening, which was a freaking freaking nightmare. It was terrible. Um, we were there for six hours from like 7 p.m. until 1 in the morning. Nothing to eat. They wouldn't let me drink. Um, I had to get, first I had to get an IV. And they put, they put it, they tried my arm and that didn't work. So then they tried my hand, which thank God didn't really bruise that much. Just have a spot. But they used tape and I'm like kind of sensitive to tape. So I have like a big rash on my antecubital area here. Um, so I got the IV and they took blood and urine. And then um, I had to get a catheter for the freaking sonogram, which was absolutely terrible. Like, I've never had one before, and it was really uncomfortable. 
But I went ahead and did that because the option, the other option was I'd get IV fluids over an hour and a half to like fill me up, and I was like, I'm not tacking more time onto this freaking ER visit than I have to. So I did the gather. We went and saw the sonogram, and that was like the freaking best part of the visit. Um, we got two pictures. The baby's heart beating was was beating at 168 minutes per. 168 beats per minute. We couldn't hear it. She just did like a EKG, EKG strip. So she could tell us what it is. And these are the pictures. So that's the head and the arms and the tummy and the legs. So little baby Jarvis. This is another picture. It's not really good. Anyway, so this is very exciting. Um, that was the best part about the visit. So then we went back and I had to get a pelvic exam, which was also kind of terrible because in the emergency room, the beds they had, they didn't have stirrups. So they had to like jimmy up this. Like I had to like have like a bedpan under my, basically my tailbone to lift me up. And then they like put the bed back. I think it's called Trackenberg is the position I was in, I think. And then um, my legs were like, these were my feet, my legs were like this, um, it was pretty uncomfortable, so then my boobs, like, pressing on my lungs, so it was really hard to breathe in that position, too, um, so after that, he finally ordered the Rogam, and I got the Rogam, and he also had ordered a blood test, KB blood test, which I think, it's like, um, you can Google it, but it's pretty much like, where the baby's red blood cells, I think, cross the placenta into the mother's bloodstream, and if the baby has an a positive blood and I have negative blood, that's not good. So anyway, that was a mail-out test, so he couldn't get the results of that. So um, he hasn't called me, so I'm assuming that it's fine. I'm going to get my records transferred anyway. So anyway, that was that. So pretty much after that, nothing has happened. No spotting, no bleeding, nothing. I have a little bit of discomfort, which I'm just attributing to growing maybe around like a bit pain i'm not sure um so yeah i'm happy about seeing the baby and we're going for our integrated screen on the 22nd so i'm gonna see the baby again um we have to get another one because they didn't do the correct measurements for the integrated screen screen and plus i have to have blood work and stuff so um Other than that, nothing really, um, my eating has been okay, I haven't been exercising because his, like my discharge instructions were bed rest, no sex, plenty of fluids, that kind of stuff. So, um, I've just been like really taking it easy, trying to just lay down or sit down and not trying to stress out. It's kind of hard not to stress out when we're driving so much just because it's just, I don't know, you know the roads are like crazy. When we were in Pennsylvania, it was really snowy and traffic and anyway. So, just trying to take it easy. Um, I fly out on the 19th back home, so hopefully that'll go well. We told the rest of my family on Saturday too, and that went really well. So, everything's going good. It's just had a few little bumps in the road. Um, anything else? Yeah. Um, I feel like ugly. Like, I feel like I have to work really hard to get like my skin tone back. Like my lips are really chapped and really, really pale. So I have to put like lip gloss on or something. Um, my skin is really uneven. My dark circles are really bad. I just feel like the baby is like sucking my beauty. Like I've heard that old wives tale, but like I don't feel glowy, even though my parents were like, wow, you look awesome, because they said that before they realized I was pregnant because I had lost almost 35 pounds bef between the last time they'd seen me, so, um, I just feel, like, not very attractive, but anyway, um, that's all, so hopefully week 11 will be smooth sailing, oh, I also told everyone at work, so by the time I get back to work, I'll be almost 12 weeks, so that was good, and everyone, like, sent me a little email, they're so happy, like, you'll be such a good mom, which is really, makes me feel really good. Okay, so anyway, this is really long and rambly, and I'm in a hotel room, and it's kind of awkward, so I will just see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.